Good morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice for radio. So today, we're going to be looking at a new Mimikyu. Although, again, when I say new Mimikyu, it's really new very much in quotation fingers. This is not a new Mimikyu per se. This is a remake, reprint, retyping of the Mimikyu from Guardians Rising. But that's all right, because the one from Guardians Rising was the really good one. And like the alternate types we've seen before, now there really aren't that many in GX Ultra Shiny. We've looked at Alolan Executor. We've looked at Alolan Ninetales. There's one more to look at. We'll be doing that very shortly. And Mimikyu here has turned from a psychic type into a fairy type. And there's actually quite a lot to like about this. Now, if we start off with the basics, I should say that although it doesn't really need a translation, it was confirmed to be a retyping by the lovely David Hawk. I mean, who else at this point, ladies and gentlemen? So, 70 HP, honestly, is starting to look kind of annoying, because 70 HP means you cannot be searched out with Professor Elm's lecture. What I do really like here, however, is that it can take a hit from Registeel. My boy, Register. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Why does it not have a weakness to metal? That makes no sense to me, ladies and gentlemen. Retyping means you, you turn it into that type. So the best example of this for the moment, let's have a look at Empoleon, a Pokemon which got alternate types back in the first wave, so to speak. And when we have a look at Empoleon, we see that the water type has a weakness to lightning. Then the metal type comes in, weakness to fire, and gains a resistance to psychic, because that's what metal Pokemon do. And the attack cost turns from water to metal, but other than that, it's the exact same card. Now, I do love that we've got different artwork on these new alternate types, but they're not being that consistent. We looked at Alola Ninetales the other day. Alola Ninetales somehow turned into a fairy type without getting a resistance to darkness. Like every other fairy type. Like the other Alola Ninetales. And somehow Mimikyu has turned into a fairy type without getting a weakness to metal. Now, I'm not complaining. It should not have the weakness. But the other thing is, it doesn't have the resistance to darkness. Now, the reason here very simply is, it has been ported over as a fairy type with the weakness and resistance of a ghost type, i.e. none. And we see Pokemon like this. I mean, one of the classic examples is Ho-Oh, which although it is a water Pokemon, is weak to lightning, resistant to fighting, because it's a fire Pokemon with a weakness and resistance profile of a flying Pokemon. So we've seen this, but it's really weird to me that we've got this now in the alternate typings we didn't before. No weakness is good, but it's just weird to me that it's a fairy Pokemon with no weakness or resistance. It makes sense because it's Mimikyu, but it's still weird. But no weakness is good. The retreat cost of one is low and you can use a skateboard and all of that. So in terms of being a fairy type, I mean, you get all the fairy charms. And the fairy charms are awesome. They give you immunity from attacks from EXs and GXs according to the type of fairy charm it is. So we've got grass that protects against grass EXs and GXs, psychic, dragon, fighting, and ultra beast. And ultra beast might be the most exciting one of them all. We looked at that one just earlier on today. So that's really cool, right? You get access to all of these fairy ones. And you do then get the option of using Wonder Labyrinth Prism Star. Wonder Labyrinth Prism Star is a great card, which is also coming out in GX Ultra Shiny, which increases the attack cost of all non-fairy Pokemon by one colorless energy, which is 
really quite useful. Although, it's one of these where it's in your opponent's control. So if your opponent replaces a stadium, remember it cannot be field blowered away, but if your opponent replaces a stadium before attacking, then essentially that stadium is sat there on the field, but it's not actually done anything. But Psychic doesn't have a Prism Star Stadium right now. So you gain the Fairy Charms, and you gain the Prism Star Stadium, and actually here, there's a lot to like about being a Fairy Pokemon right now. Weakness, however, that's a bit trickier. Because on the one hand, you are hitting weakness against Rayquaza, which is a good Pokemon that's seeing a lot of play. And you're hitting weakness against Ultra Necrozma, which is a good Pokemon that's seeing a bit of play. But if Japan is any indication, we expect to see a lot more play when Lost Thunder is legal. But on the other hand, you're losing Psychic Typing, and Psychic Typing hits Boswell and Necrozma. Yeah, they're more relevant right now. So it's kind of annoying. Although you actually do hit for a good weakness, you're not hitting for as good a weakness as you were. So to remind ourselves of the attacks, although it's a card that's been out for a while, so we're really discussing the retyping more than the card as a whole, because we all know the card by now. And it's been on the board for a little while. It's been on the screen. One colorless energy, draw two cards. Brilliantly archaic name of Filch. And you know what? It's fine. It's all right. It's one of those attacks where if you've got nothing else, you've got no supporter in hand, no Cynthia, and you're completely alone, this will work. And this will be good. It's not a great attack. It's not one on which you want to be relying. But in terms of a, oh, we, I've got nothing. Yeah, it's all right. But it's the second attack which has made this Mimikyu see quite a lot of play as a Psychic Pokemon. If the defending Pokemon used an attack last turn, use it as this attack. Just copy the attack. And there's a bunch of Pokemon for which this is really, really good. So if we look at commonly played Pokemon, this can be quite nice. You could copy something like Boswell's attack. So if Boswell GX uses a Knuckle Impact, then you can do 160 for two energy, which is very, very nice. Downside here, you're not hitting for weakness anymore, so you will need a choice band to get the KO. But that's all right. If a Lycan Rock comes up and uses Dangerous Rogue, if they've got four bench Pokemon, you can use Dangerous Rogue and you'll go and get a one-hit KO on them. If a Zoroark uses Riotous Beating, you can use Riotous Beating and do 120 as long as you've got a full bench here. And this is especially good when you come up against Pokemon that KO themselves. So something like Tapu Bulu, for instance, if they use their big attack, if they use Nature's Judgment, you can use Nature's Judgment, discard all the energy attached to Mimikyu, do 180, get a one-hit KO on Tapu Bulu. This is really nice. The problem is, we're running into a format where there's a whole bunch of really specific Pokemon that you're not going to be able to do very much against. So if we take something like Blacephalon, well, Blacephalon lets you put as many fire energy into your Lost Zone as you like, and you do 50 damage for each energy put into the Lost Zone. Well, you're probably not going to be playing any fire energy, so that's kind of a moot point. And what's really annoying here is Rayquaza's attack does 30 damage for each basic grass and lightning you've got on the field, which is probably none, so you actually can't counter Rayquaza. An Ultra Necrozma lets you discard Psychic Energy, all of the basic Psychic attached to it, and you do 60 damage for each one you discard. Well, actually, the old Mimikyu did play Psychic, so maybe you could use it. This one's hitting for weakness, but you're probably not playing Psychic Energy. So you're in this weird situation where actually the two best Pokemon that you're hitting for weakness, you're just not going to be able to copy their attack. So there's plenty of Pokemon here that you will be countering, but there's plenty more that you won't. And actually, the biggest thing you lose not being a Psychic Pokemon, you really lose access to Malamar. You don't actually lose access to Malamar, but Mimikyu used to be a Psychic and a Colorless. Yay, Malamar! Well, now you're a Fairy and a Colorless. So you can't really use Malamar anymore. 
which is a bit of an issue. Now, you can actually use Mina. Mina is a supporter card that lets you search for a fairy energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon. So you can use that here, but it's your supporter card for the turn. And you can use counter energy if you're behind on prizes, just like you always could. But actually, I'm starting to come down on the side that this is not as good as a psychic type. Even though your weakness is good, you're not actually hitting any damage on the relevant Pokemon right now. So you're hitting for a worse weakness. You can't go into Malamar decks. This is a pain. Now, don't sleep on how good Fairy Charms can be. And don't sleep on Wonder Labyrinth. But other than that, I don't know. I'm still giving it between three and four Wossies. It's been proven to be a really good card. It's seen a bunch of play, but nowadays it sees most players a one-off in Malamar decks, and Malamar decks are just going to use the Psychic type. Whereas when we looked at Alolan Executor, I went, well, yeah, I really like the Dragon version more than the other. This I don't. I, I prefer the Psychic version. Sorry about that. But I want to know what you think, so, you know, do please go ahead and let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, but as always, do please remember to be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And do please make sure you're checking out Wossy Plays for some video game, Transformers, Keyforge, Dragon Ball action. Lots of different action. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.